How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today I'm going to go and do a contract uh, called Chicken Coop. Uh, this one, it's on the Harvest Court map but I'm going to settle from the Heartlands map because I need a trailer, there's no trailer store or anything at the uh, the garage on uh, the Harvest Court. Uh, yeah, I need to take, uh, there's two medium planks of wood and then four lots of metal rolls. So yeah, I'm going to settle from the Heartlands Garage first, get the metal rolls because I can make them at the uh, the crafting zone. I'm not actually sure if there is anywhere else you can get metal rolls. I never really look because in the scheme of things that uh, crafting zone is quite handy. And then yeah, carry on heading uh, north up the island, uh, cross over, or map, <laughs> not necessarily island, cross over to Harvest Corp and then kind of follow the road along. Uh, drop them off at that farm there and then yeah zip across the map to the airport on Harvest Corp where uh, if you've already done the contracts where you unlock like warehouses and stuff at the airport uh, then you can get two lots of metal uh, sorry uh, medium planks from there and I believe I'm pretty sure that is the only place you can get medium planks from well certainly convenient anyway I remember doing it on the uh, the live stream and I kind of did the first half of this mission took the four metal rolls and then yeah realized that there isn't really anywhere else to get the medium plank from so then I kind of skipped to a different contract got that one done and locked the warehouse at the uh, airport and then got this mission finished and for this one I was cutting it a little bit fine today getting the uh, video out in time so I didn't really go through and kind of pick a truck I just thought uh, I knew I had a dolphin ready to go pretty much so uh, yeah good old classic pair dolphin and loaf also for this mission before I started the mission as well I had to drive a dolphin with a fuel add-on thing on the back um, to where I'm going now basically because I had to refill the generator you've got to build four lots of metal rolls so you need quite a bit of fuel I, I believe it's 250 fuel per metal roll so you're gonna need at least a thousand fuel in your generator and then after that I drove the dolphin up to uh, the trailer store because again they just keep putting them in crappy places where uh, if I didn't do that, like that's why I've already got a trailer now with a goddamn horse on it. If I didn't, I bet at the start of this mission now, I'd have to drive straight past this crafting zone really, up to the trailer store, grab the trailer, come back down here, get the metal rolls, then go back past the trailer store. It's just a little bit too much faffing around for me for uh, making a video. Uh, yeah, just too much doubling back on myself. I wasn't even paying attention there. Well, I was looking to see <laughs> what I was trying to do uh, was hook one of those side beam things on the trailer onto that telegraph pole and it kind of flicked me around I wasn't even looking at the front of the truck and I pretty much crashed into the back of the paystar that sat there um, yeah switch over to the generator which is full for me now um, turn it on like I said before just in case wait for the generator animation to finish because if you switch back to your normal truck too early it I don't know seemed to kill the generator last time I did that um, yeah 250 fuel each so get them crafted and then I put two in the sideboard, and I was obviously gonna. I was just about to jump the loaf off the trailer, but I don't know for whatever reason. I wanted to have a look, and it's actually letting like it let me load a metal roll. It kind of nudged the loaf out of the way a bit. And what a goddamn horse of a vehicle! Um, yeah, so even with him on the trailer, I'm not sure if that's to do with the metal rolls because they're kind of quite small as far as cargo go, and they're not really squared off like normal cargo. The hitbox seems to pretty much be the shape of the metal rolls or I don't know if it's more to do with that trailer because uh, it's obviously a two slot trailer but it's a slight bit bigger could probably fit a bit more <laughs> that's what she said of course um, yeah so then I reversed the loaf up the first or the first metal roll that I loaded uh, which got him out of the way so I could put the second metal roll on and then I kind of stashed my loaf in between them. If I, I could have faffed around, there's a crane on that paystar there, so um, like I said though, normal square pieces of cargo, it'd be easy to load the loaf back on, but the way these uh, metal rolls are shaped, it's a bit awkward. And then here, if you keep an eye on like the loaf and the trailer, I went to ram that tree and at the last second I was like, ah oh, shit, it's a uh, unkillable tree. It must be the trailer gets caught on this house, and then yeah, it flicks the trailer sideways. I'm not really sure like the loaf's back end kind of swung around and he fell off um, yeah, it wasn't really end of the world, I was originally gonna I was planning on towing him behind the trailer anyway because I didn't think I'd be able to load those metal beams on but he found a way, there was a bit of a glitch going on there, there wasn't much missed out, I just in the end I edited it because it was a bit scruffy, all I did was reverse the loaf he landed on his wheels like a goddamn professional 
Uh, I just drove him up to like level with the dolphin and then switched to the dolphin, got the trailer snagged on the house for 10 or 20 seconds and then got out of there. And then yeah, now I've got that heading uh, towards the Harvest Court map, so I'm going to cross this uh, bit of river. And yeah, like I said, if I didn't get the trailer first, it'd just be a lot of doubling a back across this section, which it's not the end of the world. I don't hate this section or anything, but it's a little bit on the slow side. And as well, uh, the Dolphin, just all the vehicles in general are not feeling quite like they used to, so this thing doesn't tear over this section like I reckon it would have sort of a year or two ago. Even funny, I got bogged down there, and I mean, look, the loaf has got a damn horse. Um, I pressed the winch button, so I got a little loaf boost. He just kind of drove into the back of the trailer and started pushing me, and we're all good to go. Just add a bit of loaf. That's all you need. And at least the dolphin didn't get its uh, bumper caught there. And yeah, I suppose this is the first video I've done in a little while. Uh, again, apologies that I've, with skipping the uh, live stream. I've still, it's nowhere near as bad now. It's pretty much gone, but still what I assume is a trap nerve in my neck. Um, yeah, if I find the right position for my neck, it's not that painful. Like the Friday when I did it, that was to the point, even breathing like a full breath was uh, making it hurt, and then it felt like you were getting like a taser, <laughs> an electric shock through my neck. Um, by the time I was doing the live stream, it wasn't, I could find a way to lay where it wasn't killing me, but sitting up with a headset on looking at the TV and everything, I was trying it about a half an hour before the live stream and I just could not find a position where it was absolutely killing in 10 minutes and essentially I wanted to lean forward and kind of stare at the floor and yeah, obviously I need to look at the screen, <laughs> although you can see from my driving, it um, could be a bit of a spurious claim. But yeah, I wouldn't have been able to read the comments and all that. I was just like, there's no point, because I'm going to end up getting like half an hour to an hour in it. And then, plus, on top of that, um, yeah, I was sounding either like I'm constipated or I'm cracking one off, because I'm just going like, <sighs> like, trying to hold my breath so I don't have to breathe, so it wasn't irritating it. Um, yeah, it was just a bit of a disaster. And it's been, it kind of went away a little bit, and it keeps kind of going away and then coming back. Um, at the minute, yeah, it's nearly gone. So I'm hoping it's one of them. I could go sleep, get up, and it's got worse again. Or yeah, fingers crossed, it as it's pretty, pretty calm now. It uh, should go away. And then my sleeping pattern's been all over the place. I've been um, my granddad downstairs. He's he got a cut on his toe, and then because he's bed bound and that, it was uh, it just kept getting worse and worse. It's gross. I've seen a picture of the toe. I wouldn't even be able to put it on YouTube. <laughs> I reckon they'd uh, ban the picture for being too graphic. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like someone, something heavy with non-spongy tyres, like a forklift. It looks like that would run over his toe or something. It's fucking gross. Um, so he's been on like really strong, uh, what do you call them, antibiotics. So I've been going down every night at nine to make sure he's taking the last lot because he sort of forgets he's a bit in his own world sometimes. Plus he'll or nod off before he's taken them um, yeah and all across this week as well for the it's pretty rare I was just kind of testing my sleeping pattern um, like I say for the first time in I don't know a decade or so I basically started going to sleep more at night and I've been up in the day which is pretty weird for me I'm not really too sure if I like it and it didn't seem to settle my like my sleep pattern down or anything but yeah that's why I've kind of been on and off for the last couple of days just not really knowing even uh, where I'm at, what time it is, what time I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> it just sort of when tiredness hits me, it was like, right, I'm going to try and go sleep now. And yeah, I don't know. I end up feeling probably worse for it all in the end. So I'm not sure. I might try and make it back into a, uh, a bit of a normal pattern. I have to say, bloody lucky the uh, the next phase doesn't come out because it was an absolute disaster of the, uh, like the last two weeks for me, really. Fingers crossed it's getting it all out of my system. And then I can, uh, yeah, get on with it as normal when they release that. So yeah, now I'm on the Harvest Court map, kind of follow the main road along, skip across the river, and then there's definitely much easier ways to drive to the farm. I wanted to attempt driving kind of like down a river that sort of ran towards the farm. Um, I sort of, I don't regret it, but at the same time, there's definitely much easier ways. It's 
I did it, I think it was in the live stream again doing this mission and I had a um, mod, I'm trying to think which one it was, it was either Fox's Twice Twin Steer or AGL's uh, Angry Ginger Life um, Twin Steer mod and long story short it kind of like drove up the river fine, it was a pretty good enjoyable uh, drive, yeah this dolphin fully packed and all the rest of it, it was just we got there but it didn't feel exactly like it was just a, a walk in the park for it. Another dolphin to the left. Uh, thankfully I have actually, it didn't show up on the map for whatever reason, but I have actually built these little kind of log bridges between these little islands cutting across here, which makes life a bit easier. These bloody dead trees on this game uh, drive me mad. They keep ruining the driving experience. <laughs> it's like just trying to enjoy the game. Stop putting dead trees everywhere that auto latch onto your bloody chassis and keep you stuck there. So yeah, I, in theory it'd be better off to just keep following the road up and then kind of swerve off to the right on the grass. Um, I was eyeballing kind of where to drop down the bank into the river. It looked a bit steep further up so I just thought I'd kind of go from here and then just as a safety feature for me, which was good, um, I waited there, it, thankfully it was only like a minute or so, uh, just until this auto save thing was happening. So then now, if anything went wrong, I could just quit and reload. I like doing that method anyway, so I'm not blaming it strictly on time, but especially today, this morning. Um, yeah, I just I didn't have time to, if I roll and mess it up, I'm going to have to go and get a truck with a crane, bring it over, and it just would have had too much time. I'd have ended up missing me, uh, me window where I like to get the video out, really. And so far now, it was not doing too bad. It got into the river all right. There's kind of like a shallow section there, so that wasn't too bad. But then they've gone and ruined it. You can see as I move the camera up, there's dead trees lying all along the river, which I didn't realise. I, I assume they were there when I uh, drove through here in the, one of the twin steers, uh, like a mod version, but yeah, that really wasn't helping. Oh yeah, and as well, I did. Uh, I rolled here and I it sort of coming up and I quit and reloaded. So I switched the way the footage goes around. I think this might be my second attempt driving up here. The only reason I did it in the end, I got out of this river, drove along, climbed out at the same point basically both times. But I reckon one was like a little bit quicker with the footage than the other. And yeah, I just kind of mixed and matched it around a little bit. Hence why now, this time, I'm kind of sticking to the right of the river a little bit, just because, yeah, they they just keep ruining it. Again, it's like, I've, I've bought the game. <laughs> I've paid for it. I've got the map. Just let me enjoy my map. Stop putting stupid things that I can't... There's no way to... I don't know. Overcome the trees or anything. They're just a pain in the ass that hook onto you. I know you can kind of, like, fling a winch out and do this and that, but, yeah, it feels pretty unrealistic. Certainly the way it like hooks onto you. And originally my plan was to just keep driving like straight down the river. I believe now I've just it's flicked over like the edit to now. This was the first time I was driving through the river. Both times I ended up swerving off now and climbing out here because yeah, there's just too many dead trees lying in the river. I was going too slow for my liking really, I wasn't too keen on it. Struggling to climb out the rocks there, but then I held the winch button down, the loaf Give, give me a little loaf boost again, start pushing the trailer when we're away. Again, it's a goddamn horse of a vehicle, get yourself a loaf. Yeah, I, I just think the, the dolphin used to have a bit more guts than this. Well, like, the gearboxes really. There's just no, no oomph to it these days really. And yeah, you can see like my way markers still in the uh, in the river because I was originally intending to go there. So this was the first edit and this I tried to just go close enough to make that waypoint vanish. Uh, I should have just stopped now and got the loaf as an anchor point but I was trying to rush and I rolled it. <laughs> Goddamn horse is still there on his wheels. So then now it edited back to this was my second attempt again. Um, obviously didn't learn the first time. Definition of insanity. Keep trying the same thing and expect different results. Um, I did manage to get close enough to kind of make the waypoint disappear, whereas uh, I didn't actually roll into the river. And now, I don't even know why. I kind of seen this last bit of river and thought, well, maybe they've 
not ruin that too much. As soon as I drove in, I, you can't really see it yet because I'm sort of splashing the water around, but there's a dead tree kind of stuck at the back of my Azov, so it's hooked onto the rear axle of the Azov, and yeah, it's just not letting me move anywhere. So, yeah, it's just, just ruining it. <laughs> Why do they do it? Bit of winch to a tree on the side, grab me loaf. We're good to go. Getting a little bit low on fuel as well. I kind of knew though on the route, um, on the Heartlands map, on the way kind of... Yeah, I think it's fairly near to where the trailer store is. There's a fuel station there, petrol station, which is kind of stupid really, because you could just go to the trailer store anyway and spawn like a fuel trailer, so it's a bit of a crap place to put it. There is, not that it really matters on this mission, um, what map is it? I think it might be the Institute map. And there is over to the left hand side of the map. There's like an old petrol station that you can see sort of been abandoned and all the rest of it. It'd have been quite nice if they made that a fuel station. Well then again, saying that, there's a warehouse not too far from there. Yeah, that they've put a fuel station there. I don't know, there's a few things. If I had the options, there's a, uh, I'd certainly add trailer stores to the garages. And yeah, I'd probably juggle around one or two of the, uh, the fuel stations just to have them in like more sensible locations. But I know at the minute all I've got to do is really use the fuel, get to like to drop these metal rolls off and then I can uh, send in the loaf, he's got his roof rack. That's why it's always worth bringing him along. And yeah, at this point with the water I just wanted to get out of it really. Although, no more dead trees which is nice. need a mod where the loaf has a chainsaw <laughs> and he can just eat them trees for breakfast get them out of the way or I think I might have said before I have the option a bit like delete trailers option so it'll be able to delete them trees and then now I was like you Jesus Christ game whoever is in charge of wood related products on this game send them on holiday like why kind of sick I would put tree stumps behind there. Did they know? <laughs> they predict that I was going to uh, use that river as a shortcut. Well, shortcut the longest bloody shortcut I've ever used, I think. Uh, yeah, so get them uh, metal rolls dropped off. Send them the loaf so he's got fuel. Looks like he's blown a tyre. And then, uh, you don't need to do this, but usually stubbornness prevails. Uh, I wanted to get the loaf on the trailer. <laughs> done it before, it's not the first time, so yeah, reverse him, kind of hit that hitch thing, I believe it's called a tong, someone told me that, I don't doubt them, I just don't know, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, until I know any better, we're calling it a tong, um, well yeah, there you go, and yeah, there you go, took a little bit of jiddling to get in, but we got there, that's what she said of course, um, yeah, I've tried it before, I've managed to make him just fly up there, but whatever reason his little front wheels got stuck for him for a few seconds um, now I've got to drive yeah from this little farm area kind of cut across the map I'm not even bothering following roads at this point to be fair for the most part there's kind of fields you can cut across so I could have made it along the roads I reckon fuel wise I'm sure I would have had enough because I've still got another well, I've been driving the loaf a little bit but I should imagine it's probably got 60 70 litres still in there so uh, yeah I could have made it following along the roads but I just kind of after the slow section of the uh, the river, I wanted to drop the hammer a little bit. This field, yeah, I think it is this one, and I didn't run Jeepers Creepers over, which I was regretting about now, when it wouldn't let me stay in high gear. Thankfully it's not making me go like 0.1 mile an hour. But yeah, a few of these fields, it's normally not the ones you have to do the farm things on and plough and all the rest of it, but those sort of fields, that's actually not that bad in the scheme of things, unless the dolphin was just doing pretty well, relative, bleh, relatively speaking, but uh, yeah, some of them are definitely like super mud. I'm surprised there as well, the 
was expecting the uh, the dolphin to get a bit smashed up at this point. In the end, it takes the most damage breaking through a, a little fence made of twigs. I've seen the opportunity. Jeepers Creepers 2. Do you know what? I think Jeepers Creepers 2 is a pretty good film <laughs> where they're in the bus. And uh, yeah, it's the only one they never always find Jeepers Creepers. And Jeepers Creepers 3. Sorry, there's just there was some guy just pulled up outside, kind of pretty much drove into the hedge. I think he was dropping somebody off. <laughs> it was like some farmer in a 4 before. To be fair, I think that's what he's doing. He's gone now. Um, I think instead of having to cross the road, <laughs> the traffic's ridiculous on the main road at this time. He must have just pulled, I don't know, onto the pavement and kind of nearly in a hedge to drop someone off and then just set off back on the road again. What a goddamn professional. He must have been life trained. Saves him having to pull in, I suppose, and then wait 10 minutes for a, a gap in the traffic to get back out. I'm sure, it's not his first time doing that. It's the first time I've seen him doing it, though. Uh, yeah, anyway, got to the airport, uh, quickly refueled the Dolphin. The loafer down there, he got a bit of fuel as well. And then, yeah, this is the warehouse light you unlock when you do a couple of the missions uh, at the airport. Two lots of medium planks. I'll just cut that out, basically. Uh, use the crane of that Zix that was next to me, just pop the loaf on top of me dolphin, uh, get the second piece of medium wood, draw a line back to uh, the same farm, so pretty much the same journey in reverse, well nearly. I don't really go back out the, uh, the same way I came in, I'm kind of just, we'll go around this way, do a nice big loop. And I wasn't sure myself at this point. Like the dolphin is fairly planted for a vehicle. This, I'd say the, uh, well, the Colobs are probably some of the hardest vehicles to tip. The uh, the Zix six oh five R is pretty high up there as well. Um, yeah, the dolphin though, it's always been pretty planted, but I think it's been a little while, especially since this phase. I've been using like various different trucks to uh, do these missions, so I wasn't even sure myself at this point if uh, if it was going to make me tip or not, but. I kind of, again, this was like pretty much the original pair that I used to go around with and I remember doing some uh, pretty big off-roading sections where the loaf was balancing like up quite high on cargo and that. I wanted to kill that tree because the, the mood took me. Um, yeah, kind of get caught on <laughs> this game again. As soon as it's a dead tree it's like, oh my god, catch something. Um, yeah, so I think that was more the, the trailer kind of did a bit of an endo because of it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if like these sort of sections would possibly make me tip over, but it's going pretty well. And again, even the dolphin, like all that sort of stuff aside, where the game keeps killing the gearboxes and all that, it's uh, it is a nice truck still to drive across. Like this stuff, yeah, sort of a bit of freestyle driving. And I have to say, still, I do like these maps once you just ignore the roads and go your own way. They uh, they have definitely made it more entertaining than just like this. I know, well, there's probably a bit more scenery going on than this, but super mud and death mud and swamps was like their usual mo for how they're gonna like cover everything that isn't a road. Whereas, uh, yeah, being able to just actually cut across the countryside and you got big gouges in the ground and everything that um, yeah, just make you pay more attention. Kind of have a go at uh, manoeuvring through there without tipping it. watching a video the other day on some of the uh, old Dakar trucks from like the 80s. Need some of them in this game. Absolute beasts. Don't know if I've seen it as well. It was this year I think on the Paris Dakar rally truck thing. One of the guys with the camera was on like the other side of a hill and he got ran over and he, uh, yeah he died. <coughs> I definitely wouldn't say it was the best place to stand like just over the brow of a hill in all the tyre tracks where other vehicles had clearly been flying over the brow of that hill but still paid a pretty high price for doing so rest in peace and all that uh, yeah we got there I fell off with the loaf he's <laughs> obviously just doing a chassis inspection on the dolphin making sure everything's working well we actually get an animation on this video and uh, yeah that's that one in the back drop in the bag should I say drop those two off I think the money was only like five and a half thousand which was a bit of a rip off for how much you got to do I think it should have been nearer seven eight ten something like that but yeah anyway that's about it for today I hope you enjoyed I hope that helps thanks for watching thanks for my patreon members 
get yourself a loaf because he's a goddamn professional. And I'll be back soon.